Hey, how goes it? I'm Michaela, and today I'm going to be doing a try on thrift haul. This is like from all of 2022. What I realized when I kept going to the store is the stuff I'm picking up is actually called like Whimsicott. I'm going for like that Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Charm, Practical Magic kind of vibe. Let's get into this video, okay? First up, we got sleeveless tops. The first one I got is this little ribbed floral action. It's a small, but it fits kind of like a crop top on me. Like I'm a large, probably bordering on extra large, but it works, you know? I got this black tank top because for summer, I have nothing, especially like basics. I saw this and I was like, hey, you're coming home with me. Next up, it's technically a slip dress, but I'm including it in the sleeveless portion because she comes up so high that I wouldn't be able to wear it by itself. You know, it works as like a cute little cami action. Next up, we have this little teal cami. It's giving me corset, which I like a lot. Love the corset trend, love this cami. This is the first one. It's very cute. It makes me very happy. I'm a sucker for embroidery and like the dazzled stuff currently. So second short sleeve shirt is this green embroidered action. Got them at the same store. They're very cute. The sleeves on this one are a little short, but they're very cute. I have no control when it comes to grabbing long sleeve items even when it's summer. My fashion truly thrives in the colder months when I can layer it. First item is this little velvet v-neck collared shirt. It's like green, black, and velvet. I love this shirt so much. I usually don't like v-neck stuff because I don't like my boobs, but this? Listen, listen, I mean, my boobs but it sure makes them look really good item number two is this little bedazzled purple tie-dye looking shirt the neckline is kind of asymmetrical if you can tell but this shirt brings me a lot of joy and it has like this little stitching detailing who is shooting and for why i'm sorry if it's kind of noisy i live by the street next item is this it's kind of sheer through the butterfly web part. This is a floral v-neck kind of collared shirt. Like the other one it has like butterfly wing kind of vibe going on, which I fell in love with when I saw. It was giving me the vibe of that character in Demon Slayer. I can't remember her name. I thought it'd be fun if I ever did like a Demon Slayer lookbook. This could be included in like her look. Next we got a flannel because I don't have any flannels. I have like two flannels and they're from my grandfather but I don't have any other than that so I saw this it's like very fun it's definitely a basic flannel next up is this vest I got it on Facebook marketplace I've never bought anything on Facebook marketplace this was my first thing I got there in the photo it looked black and white it's definitely navy and they didn't put in the description that it was dry clean only but you know I see dry clean only and I'm like, so what you're saying is hand wash. Proceed with caution. <laughs> listen, listen, as long as you take like a q-tip or something and see if the ink doesn't come off, I think it's fine. Next up, we got this white top. It's giving me steed bonnet from Our Flag Means Death. It's giving pirate, but like fancy pirate, you know? I think this would also make a great red fair piece, I think. This is a great addition to my wardrobe. Next up, we got this blue silk shirt. Makes me feel very fancy. I actually saw this on my way out. Like I was heading to the register and then I saw this and I was like, Next up, got a faux leather jacket. It's from Alfonsi. He has nice buttons. I never wore leather stuff before this year, but I feel like it goes kind of with the Whimsicott stuff, like it can go with those pieces. Last of the outerwear slash long sleeves is this button up, and I do love it. However, the glitter on here sheds like crazy. It's very fun. It has fun details, like there's like floral, there's animal print, and the glitter, you know, it's a fun time. Next up, we got bottoms. It's funny because like the last thrift haul, I was like, I don't know how to buy bottoms. And like since that video, I've been buying bottoms like crazy. Granted, most of the skirts didn't fit, so I did have to alter them. But hey, I can alter the skirts now. Like that's a thing I can do now. 
Okay, first up, we got some shorts because summertime. I got these white, they're not white, these khaki shorts. They're high-waisted, they're super high-waisted. They're giving me like white mom wearing Simply Southern. I'm going to yassify these shorts. Next shorts are these like periwinkle color shorts. They're kind of more so mid-rise, but this brand that they are, Gloria Vanderbilt. I've been finding a lot of the pants at the thrift store and I know for sure the Gloria Vanderbilt Amanda cut in like 10, 12 fits me. So I saw these and it's the same brand. And I was like, say less say less. Okay, next up is this very fun pair of high-waisted velvet pants and then they fit me perfectly. That made me very happy. I didn't know I was going to be a velvet pants girly, but now I am. Next up, we got green trousers. They're super long, so if I don't cuff them up, I will tie. And I'm already kind of someone who's a little tall. Like, I'm not super tall, but I'm already like 5'8". Next up is this skirt, which also is giving me kind of Willow Rosenberg vibes. It's like a little floral action, and it does fit me really good. Like, I didn't have to do anything to this one. I think it's cute, paired with quite a few of my tops. It's giving me witch, and that excites me. If I could dress and look like a witch all the time, that would be ideal. Next up is another velvet skirt. This one I bought so long ago, but I never took it in, so I never wore it, but now it fits so good. I gagged when I saw this skirt. It's so good. Can you please stop shooting the gun? And the last skirt I have here is this little velvet sparkly asymmetrical. It had the original tags on it, so originally it was $70, but I got it for like 8 This one also has animal print with glitter. There's something about bedazzled animal print, I guess, you know, that people just were eating up back then. And I guess technically I'm eating it up right now. Next section is the dress section. I have two dresses here. This one is the first one. When I saw this, I was like, this is giving me Willow from Buffy. So I grabbed it. I'm not someone who wears dresses like ever. So it's kind of a big deal that there's like two dresses in this video. The second dress, I'm so excited for, okay? It's giving major Ren Faire vibes. Like, ah! I like about died when I saw this. It's so fun. It's so cool. It's giving giving me a little forest fairy. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's like so flowy and like if you spin around in it, it goes like- Not that I can spin because uh, your girl has no iron or vitamin D, so I would die. This is like one of my favorite things in this video. Last section is accessories. First up, we got this bag. I bought this with my friend's lake vacation in mind, like I'm about to be on her boat for like 10 days. I was like, this will be a good little bag to have on the boat. I can have my little drink, snacks, sunscreen, I can have all that in here. I think it has fun vibes, you know? You can't really tell, but there's like lake and like houses on here, so I was like, <laughs> it just makes sense, you know? Next accessory that I got is this clamshell purse from the 1920s. I got this at an antique store, technically, but I'm including it anyway. It's a hundred years old and it has purple velvet lining. This is the most expensive thing in this video. It was $50, which I did look it up and it goes for more. So I think I got a deal considering it's from the 1920s. Next up, we got this belt and it's cool. It has like pearls and the dazzle and this, it's giving me fairy core and it has like metal details. The pearls are pink. I don't know if you can tell. Next up are necklaces. I got these at the antique store too. They were pretty cheap. So next up we got this like super long star necklace, but I like double it up, be like kind of choker kind of vibe. Then I got this one. It's a coin there, but it's a locket. And in the locket, there's a picture of this woman and this woman. I don't know if it's like a daughter mother kind of thing or if it's like their lover when they were young and their lover when they're older kind of vibe and you can't see it very well but there's like an R right there and I think they're cute and I wouldn't want to remove their photos anyway so I'm keeping the photos in there but yeah just this cute little locket then we got this little thing it's kind of too long to be a choker but because of how like wide these are I can make it smaller to be a choker yeah it's very cute and the next two I got at the same like booth in 
this antique mall. This one's like a teardrop sun catcher kind of thing. And then this one is like little caged mini prisms. But yeah, that's it for this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys soon, okay?